You've been thinking about starting your podcast, you've been obsessing about the idea for months and years. Yeah, or you've been procrastinating it, or you're overwhelmed by all the different technical stuff that goes into starting a podcast. Well, in this video, we're going to show you the four different ways you can start your podcast this year. This year. Hey, welcome to the Pod Sound School. I'm Studio Steve. And I'm Veronica. And we're podcast coaches, podcast producers, and we've helped dozens of clients and hundreds of students to get some really amazing results with their podcast. And we want to do the same for you. In this video, we're going to show you the four different ways you can start your podcast from the very basic to the professional level. And we're gonna show you also the pros and cons of each option. Yeah, and by the end of this video, you're gonna know everything you need to know in order to start your podcast today. We are going to cover a lot in this video, so make sure you stick around until the end. And for those of you who like to skip ahead, we've left some timestamps in the description below of each of the topics we'll be covering. But before we get into the different ways that we can create a podcast, it's important to know how podcasting works. How do we get the audio files from our phones or computers all the way up to Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify? Yeah, this is one of the many things that confuses a lot of people about podcasting, is that the podcast directories like Apple and Google and Spotify, they don't actually hold your mp3 file. You actually need to upload your mp3 file to what's called the podcast host. A podcast host is a service that holds the information for your podcast and your podcast episodes. It holds your mp3, your episodes descriptions, all the information regarding your podcast, your podcast cover art, and your episode artwork. Yeah, and to help this make a little more sense to you, this is actually a screenshot of us uploading one of our Pod Sound School podcast episodes to our podcast host, Simplecast. We add a title, we add episode description, some episode artwork, and some key keywords. Once we update it here, it is updated to all of the podcast directories via something called an RSS feed. Once you have at least one episode, you can distribute your podcast to the different podcast directories using this RSS link. This link will go to the different podcast directories and it will automatically update your podcast every time you post a new episode. So hopefully that helps the whole thing make sense to you a little bit more. Don't worry, just get a podcast host and it'll all make sense as you start uploading episodes. And before we get into the four ways that you could start your podcast today, because we're podcast coaches, we couldn't let you just jump into starting a podcast without at least sharing three really important tips that you keep in mind before starting your podcast. Yes, because we want to set you up for success. So tip number one would be to do a preliminary name check. You don't want to use the same name that other podcasts are using. You want to be original and also you want your name to be easy to spell and easy to pronounce. And tip number two is take the time to listen to some other podcasts that are similar in topic and find ways that you can bring your secret sauce and that you can be different and stand out. I like to make a list of what I like about the podcast and what I don't like about the podcast. But we don't want you to get discouraged if you find that there are other podcasts doing what you're thinking about doing. Remember that this is your podcast and you're going to bring your personal and your creativity and your uniqueness to this project. And tip number three, make a list of all of your passions and all of the topics that you'd be interested in covering. Sometimes it's good to make sure that you have a topic you could talk about for hours on end that you would never get bored of and make a list of all of those things that can be really helpful for coming up with episode ideas and for your podcast idea in general. And take a minute to share your podcast idea in the comments below. We're curious to know what you guys are planning. And if you need more help with finding the right topic for you, I have this video right here taking you through the exact steps I take my clients and students to find the right topic for them. Now let's talk about the different ways you can start your podcast so you can decide which one is right for you. Number one, you can start your podcast using your smartphone. Yes, and this is a really popular option that a lot of people are getting into podcast using. We recommend two apps for this that you can get on your smartphone, either Apple or Android phones, and that is Anchor FM or Spreaker Studio. Either app allows you to record your podcast directly into the app and then from there distributed to the different podcast directories. Both apps have a lot of really cool options and little bells and whistles on them. The Anchor app is our favorite and it allows you to do minor edits. You can cut out big chunks in the middle of your performance if it wasn't good. You can also trim the beginning and the end, but that's about it with the editing. So it's important to know that you're not really gonna be able to do any advanced editing or any kind of professional editing or control any of the EQs or the compression or any of that fancy professional stuff actually on your phone. And as you can imagine, the microphones on your phone aren't as great sounding as some of the professional podcasting microphones out there. However, this is a good solution if you are new to podcasting and you don't want to invest a lot of money in equipment and you're not sure if podcasting is your thing. So this is a low risk, low investment way for you 
you to start your podcast. Yeah, and you'd actually be surprised with the results you can get. Lastly, the other really cool thing about the Anchor app is it comes with a bunch of royalty-free music you can use, and it's owned by Spotify. So right when you publish your first episode, usually within minutes, uh, your podcast will go live on Spotify. There are also many accessories, adapters, and USB microphones you can plug into your smartphone to make the sound quality even better. Yes, and we have a whole playlist that we did all about smartphone podcasting that you can find right here if you think this is the option that you want to start with. And now let's move on to option number two, and that's using your computer and a USB microphone. Yeah, and this is probably the most popular option for independent podcasters because USB microphones are affordable and they sound really good and you don't need to get an audio interface. All you have to do is plug them in your computer and you're ready to go. So our big two recommendations for USB microphones are the Samson Q2U and the Audio-Technica ATR2100X. Both of these are tried and tested, great sounding microphones, and they're also upgradable when we move on to option number three, which we're not to yet. And in addition to a USB microphone, you are also gonna need to download an audio editing software onto your computer. There's a lot of different options ranging from free to very expensive here, but my all around best top choice for independent podcasters is Reaper. And you could download Reaper for free and try it free for 60 days, and then it's a one-time $60 after that. Now here on YouTube, you also hear a lot of people recommend Audacity, which is a free DAW, but I would really recommend that you steer clear from Audacity. It really just causes a lot of headache, and it's worth the $60 to just get a better DAW from the beginning. If you're stuck and, and really want to stick to a free option, I would say GarageBand's better, and then even better than GarageBand would be Pro Tools First, but Pro Tools First takes a lot longer to learn than Reaper. So the way you set this up is pretty simple. In this illustration here, Veronica's using the Samsung Q2U. She's gonna plug it directly into the computer. Then all she has to do is open up Reaper, set up a track and press record. When she's done recording, she can press stop, she can add recordings, she can make all sorts of advanced edits, she can add music, and then finally she can export this recording as an MP3 to share with her podcast host. I don't want you to feel intimidated by DAWs or the fact that you have to edit your podcast. I consider myself technically challenged and I learned how to edit a podcast and I've seen my students and clients learning how to edit their own podcast. Yeah, definitely don't get discouraged. Anybody can learn how to use a DA. W. You're just going to have to take a few hours to get familiar with how it works. And at first it can seem like you're moving so slow and it can be painful and you want to pull out your hair, but just stick with it, a little practice, and you will be up and running in no time. I've spent many years teaching people how to use DAWs and I've developed a really fun learning style that cuts through all the BS and just teaches you what you need to know right now to get started. We have some videos here on our channel that you can watch about Reaper. And I also put together a free 40 minute training all about editing a podcast and getting going in Reaper. You can find that by going to podsoundschool.com slash training and grab your seat for that free training. Option number three, you can use an XLR microphone and an audio interface. And this is where we get into professional podcasting. Yeah, and this is probably also where we get into people being intimidated by podcasting, but it's really not that complicated once you break it down. So the first thing you're gonna need is an XLR microphone. We call it an XLR microphone because that's the output of the microphone. Is an XLR cable is what you would plug into it. For this, we have two top picks. For those on a budget, we really like the Shure SM58. This is a classic vocal microphone. And then next, we really like the Shure SM7B. This is a really classic podcasting microphone used by many professional podcasters. Once you've chosen a microphone, then you'll need to choose an audio interface. There are tons of audio interfaces, many that sound really good, ranging from pretty cheap to very expensive. But my top recommendation for podcasters of all budgets is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. This has two inputs so you can record two microphones at the same time, but Scarlett also has a single input option that's even cheaper if you know that you're only ever going to be using one microphone or it has a four input option if you're going to be using more than two microphones. So in this illustration, Veronica is going to use the Scarlett 2i2 and simply plug it into the USB input on her computer. Now all she needs to do is plug a microphone into the Focusrite. So she'll use an XLR cable, put one end into the microphone and the other end of the cable she'll plug into the Focusrite. And you'll see she chose input number one and right next to input number one there's a gain knob. This knob allows us to adjust the volume or the gain of the microphone. Usually with dynamic microphones, we're gonna wanna crank this knob pretty much as high as it goes 
and that's a good place to start. Now, much like she did with the USB microphone, all she has to do is open up Reaper, set up a track, and press record, and she's recording some sweet podcast vocals. And now let's move on to number four, our last option, video podcasting. Video podcasting is becoming more and more popular among podcasters. You are already recording your voice and you have your podcast set up, so the only thing you need to do is to add a camera. This will allow you to record different videos that can go on different platforms. They can go here on YouTube or on your social media, and it's the ultimate content repurposing for your podcast episodes. Yes, but this is also the most complex way to podcast, but we couldn't let you go without telling you more about it. So this really just requires three more elements to your podcast setup. The first one, like Veronica mentioned, is a camera. Most people will start with just using the camera on their phone. We have very impressive cameras on our phones nowadays, or the camera on your laptop or on your computer, and then you can upgrade to a webcam or a more professional camera. Then you're also gonna wanna pick up some lighting. We really like ring lights. Ring lights blast all the shadows off of your face and help you to look more youthful and beautiful, and that can help you to feel more confident on camera. And then after that, you're also gonna need to pick up some video editing software to actually be able to edit the video together. But this is a great way, like Veronica said, to repurpose your podcast, and it can be a bit intimidating. This is a great option, but we don't want you to get too overwhelmed with recording your podcast and recording video at the same time, especially if you're new to both. The important thing is for you to start, to start podcasting, to get into podcasting, to put your ideas out there and to start creating content. And there you go, Podski. I know that was a lot of information, but don't get discouraged. Don't wait any longer. Don't put it off. No more procrastination. Come out of the gates with your podcast. You've got us here to help you. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do so now. We post really fun podcasting videos every week here on our channel. Also, don't forget that we've left the links to all the gear we talked about, the microphones, the USB microphones, everything. You can find the links in the description of this video. There's a lot more that goes into podcasting like branding and promotion and also to be able to have an audience even before launching your podcast. And for this, we have a free training and it's called The Smart Way to Launch Your Podcast. You can snag your seat by going to podcastingsmart.com. Mm -hmm. And before we go, two things. No olviden hacer la tarea and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Happy, Happy casting. casting, amigos. Pero por qué? <laughs> Let me have a drink. <laughs> there are many accessories, uh, um, shoes. <laughs> Do you want a pair of shoes? <laughs> a few years. Oh, no. <clears throat> Should we shake? Okay. Yes. <laughs>